Lima City Council will be voting to accept funding to start some improvement projects, and they're looking to create a permit to use portable temporary storage units at Lima Homes. Connor Prince breaks it all down in our council preview. Lima City Council will be voting to create a permit system for people who have portable on-demand storage units or pods. Council has received a lot of complaints that people have been using the pods to store belongings on their property. For a $60 fee, an individual can get a permit to have a pods unit on their property for no longer than 30 days. There cannot be more than two units on one property. There are also rules about where the pods can be placed on the property in the city. Lima will also vote to accept an $800,000 grant from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources for the Phase 2 of the Greater Lima Region Park and Amphitheater. This grant will cover landscaping, fencing, walking paths, and the courtyard. Phase 1 of the project, which is the construction of the amphitheater and restroom, is currently underway. The whole project is expected to be completed before next summer. The city will use another $250,000 grant from the Department of Natural Resources to make improvements to the Schoonover Observatory building and surrounding site. The planning and designing of the project are going on right now and construction is expected to be completed by June 2024. The city has also hired a contractor to install two miles worth of sidewalks from Cable Road to Pierce Street and will extend down Spencerville Road to North Shore Drive. The nearly $900,000 sidewalk project will be placed mainly on the north side of the roads and will connect surrounding residential areas with businesses, parks, schools, community centers, and churches. The project is expected to start this fall and to be completed by the fall of 2023. Plus, Council will also hear from the Parks Department to wrap up all of the summer activities they had. The meeting begins at 7 o'clock Monday night in Lima City Council Chambers. For Your News Now, I'm Connor Prince.